A man has died after an explosion at a home in Norton. An explosion police are blaming on a meth lab inside the house. The man, who has not yet been named by police, called 911 after leaving the home to seek medical attention. He died at the hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. The explosion happened early this morning on Faith Way in Norton. WBC's Paul Burton has the very latest tonight. It's overwhelming at this point. Police say an early morning explosion inside this home on Faithway Road in Norton claims the life of a man and startled neighbors. It was more like a, like a muffled kind of a poof kind of a noise. I heard the noise. That woke me up. Um, and then you could hear the fire alarm you know, the, uh, going off. Norton police say when they arrived, the man had already fled the scene. A short time later, emergency crews responded to a home on Pike Avenue in Attleboro for a man who was experiencing medical issues. Turns out it was the same man who was involved in the explosion. He was taken to Sturdy Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigators say the damage was caused by what appeared to be an explosion from a meth lab operation. These apartments have been historically riddled with this kind of trouble. We need is to all pray and hope that this doesn't keep happening and that people will wise up and realize how dangerous that whole realm is. It's just so scary. This woman who did not want to be identified says she knows the man who died and is friends with the family. I've talked to him as he takes out the trash over a hundred times and he was so nice. Such a nice guy. I re he seemed to be getting his life back together. Once police and fire crews arrived, all the other residents here at Three Faith Way had to be evacuated to a nearby community center. It could have been so much worse. It could have taken out that whole building and it killed all those wonderful people. Residents were able to return on Saturday afternoon as work crews made repairs to the home. We'll pull together as a community and maybe this will make us stronger in the long run. No one else was injured in the explosion. The incident remains under investigation. In Norton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.